I bring you the warm greetings of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, who has asked that I especially congratulate you, Mr. Governor, and the good people of Akwaibom State on the 34th anniversary of this great state. As I mentioned earlier, I was here for the 30th anniversary of this state, September 19, 2017, and for the 32nd anniversary of the state, the 21st September 2019. Now that uh, the governor has finally found me a local government uh, of my own, where I belong, I'm very proud uh, to be a recognized citizen of Akwaibom State. We, we, we bless God that we are all alive and well to celebrate the 34th anniversary. And if the Lord tarries, we'll be here for very, very many more anniversaries and we'll all celebrate in joy and in good health. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I recall in 2015 when the governor shared the vision of his administration to construct the tallest building in the south-south and southeast region in Akwaibom State here. Today, I'm filled with joy and pride to witness the realization of that dream as we gather to celebrate a commitment to excellence and vision as represented by this 21st story edifice. 20, 20, this story of 21 stories edifice before us. But this building is not just the tallest in the south-south or southeast region. It is certainly among the tallest in Nigeria and in West Africa. So the completion of the Dakada Tower will most definitely address the questions of the paucity of world-class office accommodation for both local and corporate international companies, especially oil and gas companies. With this development, the big players in corporate Nigeria, and especially in the oil and gas industry, should now find it entirely auspicious to relocate their administrative headquarters to Uyo. This, this tower is a state-of-the-art smart building, as we've heard, combining architectural beauty with the latest technology developed for smart and efficient workspaces. I hear that various expressions of interest have already been received from companies in oil and gas, in banking, and in all the various sectors of the economy. It gladdens my heart to know that the investment in the Dakota Tower is already yielding returns. This will certainly boost the revenues of the state and open doors for further investment. In my opinion, the Dakota Towers is representative of government's effort to create an enabling environment for investments to thrive in the state. The tower is a catalyst for the private sector to leverage on the emerging real estate market by constructing more skyscrapers, which would be required as the promoters and partners of several of the industrial projects here in Akwai Bank State begin to require quality accommodation for their offices. So the partners in the Aquaibon and the Ibom Deep Sea Port, the Liberty Oil and Gas Free Trade Zone, and other key players, of course, will begin to demand facilities defeated of international business of international businesses, and they will find it right here. There will also be new jobs created, transfer of knowledge and technology as the power of CPU. Ultimately, the Dakota Tower will complement the government's efforts at improving the standard of living of the people of this great state. I'm very proud of what my brother, Governor Emmanuel, Governor Udom Emmanuel of Akwaibom State has achieved in the six years of his stewardship as Governor of the state. especially with the industrialization agenda. When I was here in, 20, uh, in 2019, we commissioned the King's Flour Mill, which I'm told is doing great things already. We commissioned the Lions Flywood and Timber Factory and the Power Substation. 
hand of course the syringe factory, the uh, meter, meter manufacturing factory as well. Since then, you've done far more and you have even launched uh, the Ebon Air, which has become the gold standard nationally. It has become the gold standard nationally for prompt and efficient service. Your focus on infrastructure development is significantly at one with the centerpiece of the federal government's economic agenda. As you are aware, since its inception of our administration, Mr. President has prioritized the development of infrastructure, roads, rail, power, and broadband connectivity. And despite the severe economic headwinds that we have experienced in the past six years, we have invested more than any administration in infrastructure. As of last year, we have expended over 8.9 trillion naira on infrastructure. Just last month, the Federal Executive Council approved the Lagos Calabar Rail Project, which will pass through Uyo as a major station. At the end, at the end of last year, at the end of last year, Federal uh, Economic, uh, sorry, Federal Executive Council, the Council also approved the full business case for the Ibom Deep Sea Port, and of course, this was with the very uh, active, uh, the very active demands and, and urgings of the governor of the state. These infrastructural developments are set to establish at Waibom State as a major industrial hub, not just for Nigeria, but in the West Africa and South Asia. I applaud the Waibom State government for following through on this particular project, the Data Data, to its completion. I also applaud the project developers for seeing the course and delivering the building in good time. I congratulate the people of Aquaibon for being for being the magnanimous host of this great achievement and also for all of the great achievements that we have seen so far. I want to again commend my brother Robin Ogun for his visionary leadership and his unwavering commitment to the betterment of Aquaibom State and its people. Mr. Governor, you continue to set the bar higher and higher, and you must never fall short, and you will never fall short. I wish you continued strength, wisdom, and foresight as you go. I must also join everyone else who has commended your much, 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 much better heart, Dr. Martha Udom Manuel for her support and for being there, not just for you, but for the entire people of this state. I want, to, I want to commend all of your team, all members of your team who have set the course and who have worked so hard to ensure that this state is not only uh, number one in the South, but is also doing great and mighty things and will become even greater in the years to come. Thank you very much for the great work you're doing. Akwai Bomb, Ezzadada. I thank you very much.